This is a short tutorial designed to introduce uh, you to this uh, analysis tool, Mega4, specifically in preparation of sequences for use in TreeSap. So if you point your browser to megasoftware.net, uh, this is the homepage for uh, Mega, and you can download Mega right here uh, for your operating system. You don't have to fill out any of the registration information unless you'd like to, so you can go ahead and just click Submit and Download. Uh, this will download this, and you can just run this. <clears throat> now, Mega, you can uh, you can install it on any, any of the open access computer labs, and it, sh it is just fine with all the, the default installation settings. All right. And when it's done, you can just launch the program there. Uh, one nice thing about Mega is it does have a this back on the website. This a walk through Mega is pretty informative about. Uh, it helps you uh, step by step through uh, kind of some basics in Mega. And this is just on that homepage. Again. So if we uh, open up Mega, I found the easiest way to collect sequences is through. Uh, an alignment explorer. Uh, it's, it's an integrated web browser. It's really cool. So if you open up a new alignment uh, by clicking in the alignment menu, you can create a new alignment here. If you already have sequences in FASTA format, you can open them by using this third option down here. Otherwise, we're just going to create a new alignment. Uh, choose yes because we're going to be building DNA sequences. And this uh, this web interface is, or this web uh, browser is uh, right here, this query GenBank. Now this will bring up, you can you can browse to this address in other browsers and it'll bring you to this page, but this uh, just integrates right in with Mega so you don't have to copy and paste everywhere, which is pretty uh, inconvenient. Now if we, uh, usually when you come to this, uh, to this page it'll be, you can search for any of the um, any of these databases you can search for anything, but uh, we're just going to look at specifically core nucleotides. If you want to set that, that's good. And and here you can just type in anything you want. So you can do like uh, Down syndrome. Oh. Click go, and it'll it'll pull up uh, a bunch of uh, genes that have things to do with Down syndrome. So here we see uh, these three genes are the ones that pulled up. Uh, we're going to look at DSCR3, the Down syndrome critical region number three. Uh, if you click on that, it'll tell us a little bit of information about it. Um, sorry, let's go back here. This will be a little easier. And s if we just keep it in core nucleotide and just look for this gene name, DSCR3, Tell it to go. It'll only just it'll bring up only hits have to do with that, not this three. Now here we see um, it was found in these organisms right here. Cover over, over them to see what they are, um, and we're just going to collect one from each of these. Uh, so here's one from a mouse. It's really easy. All you do is click on that and click Add to Alignment. And you see uh, we clicked on that. And over in this alignment window, which was previously empty, it now has the mouse sequence. So as we continue to add things uh, using this browser, it'll just add them right into our alignment. It's really convenient. So we're going to run down here, add the rat really quick. Uh, now this one right here uh, oh, is the cow. Add that. And you can see they're just popping up right here. Now you try to generally um, collect at least five sequences so you can get a, a good phylogeny. Otherwise, you have a little, too little data. Now you want to watch out. Sometimes you'll get things like this, which says um, the important part is on chromosome 16 complete sequence. 
which uh, if you click on that you can see that the, it's the whole 16th chromosome and it's huge so you don't want to collect uh, you don't want to put those into your alignment otherwise it'll take forever uh, to do so just be aware of anything that has the, the chromosome 16 or the chromosome any chromosome tag so if we run through these there's a human add that to our alignment it's our fourth sequence and if you want to you can do you can click on these um, the, the organisms and it'll just take you right to oh no it'll take you right to that so here we see this uh, it's a predicted DSCR3 but you can still take that if you check down here by the way you'll notice that this is only 2000 base pairs long oh, it's a little longer but uh, it's not anywhere near the whole chromosome length, so we can just add that in there. Give us some diversity. Hmm. I think. That's it. Grab that one too. All right. So now that we have our sequences, uh, we can just close out of that window, and we can see here that they are all uh, they're all there. And some of them terminate before other ones. So the next step in analyzing this uh, DNA is to um, to align it. So uh, let me say this out for you. So if you I'll, I'll put this up on the website, so um, you can just export this alignment as a FASTA format. This way you can load it and save it uh, really easily. I'm just going to name it demo.fasta. So that's that. Uh, so the next step is alignment. So click on the alignment uh, menu item, and sometimes it's kind of picky about what you have selected. If you select them all, you can do alignments on all of them. But if you have just one selected, you can't do it. So, just click somewhere. Align by Clustal. It'll ask you if you want to select them all. Say OK. And the default settings are just fine. So, 